It was uh, Simon Napier Bell, who was their then second manager, who came out of the blue to see me one day and said, sort of, um, I really fed up with managing the Yardbirds, and would I manage them? Obviously, I was very interested, and I arranged to, to meet them. And Simon said a wonderful thing to me. He said to me, Peter, he said, there's only one big problem with the band. There's a guy, and he's a real smart ass, a real wise guy. I said, oh, really? I said, who's that? He said, Jimmy Page. So I said, oh, I see. And I sort of, I, really passed. I thought, he must know I know Jimmy since 1962, 63, you know, apart from Neil Christian and the other things he did. You know, when I was in business with Mickey Most, he did the, all the Hermits, Hermits things, the Donovan things, and, you know, so many sessions he did, all Mickey's sessions. So when I met with the Yardbirds, uh, I said to Jimmy, I hear you're a troublemaker, and a pain, I've got to get rid of you. What have you been up to? And he said, well, we did the Anatomy Blow Up, and we did a four-week tour in England with the Rolling Stones and Tina, I can see the turn, as it was then, and an the American tour, we got £112 each. And that was really why, he, obviously, he was the only one that had either the balls or the savvy to stand up and say, this is not good enough. Mickey Most by then was recording them. Mickey is a pop producer, very, very good, or was at that time, an excellent pop producer. And there was always that, that bit of friction there. The way I saw the band going, the way they wanted to go or continue on, as against the pop thing. <laughs> 